Topic Stomata. Why do water lilies have stomata on the upper side of their leaves? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't immerse that plant completely in water. Oh, jeez. You don't have knowledge about anything. Water lily is an aquatic plant, so I'm keeping it totally underwater. Yes, you are right. It is an aquatic plant, but huh? it is not an underwater plant. Its leaves float on water. Don't lie to me. How can leaves float? <laughs> Fine, don't listen. Look, you spoiled it totally. All right, now don't cry. To understand why this happened, you need to first learn about stomata. Oh. <laughs> On the lower side of the leaves, tiny pores called stomata are present. They help the leaves to take in carbon dioxide from the air huh? during the process of photosynthesis. Huh? Oh. So shall I place the plant upside down? <laughs> huh? No. We know that the leaves of water lilies float. <laughs> Hence, if the leaves of water lilies would have stomata on their lower side, then they would have been pressed against the water surface. As a result, the stomata would not be able to take in carbon dioxide from air. Mm. Thus, the leaves of water lilies have stomata on their upper side, where they easily get air and usually do not come in contact with water. 